Have you ever wondered why do some things taste sour? Well, today we will learn the answer to all of that and more with my color changing eggs experiment. Hi everyone, I'm Emily Calandrelli, MIT engineer and host of Emily's Wonder Lab. And on my channel, we learn about all things space and science. So grab some eggs and some cabbage because things are about to get colorful. Things that are sour, like sour candies, are often sour because they have some sort of acid in them, usually something like citric acid. Researchers believe that humans might have evolved this ability to taste sour things because it is an indicator for foods that are rich in vitamin C like a lemon. Today we will use this science of acid and bases to create our color changing egg. For this one, you need red cabbage, water, a strainer, six hard boiled eggs, lemon juice, paint brushes, and we are going to make this experiment on the stove top today. So parents and adults, let's make sure we are doing this and exercising caution here. So what you wanna do is chop up your red cabbage and make three cups of it. Okay, so we have three cups of chopped red cabbage and we're gonna pour that into our pot, just like so. And now we are just going to cover this with water. So you just wanna pour in enough water to cover your cabbage. Yeah, perfect. And now we are going to go ahead and bring this water to a boil. And then once it's boiling, we are going to let it sit for 10 minutes, letting all of that pigment from the red cabbage seep into the water. All right, this has been boiling for about 10 minutes, so now we are going to filter out the cabbage and save the cabbage juice. So put your strainer over a bowl, and we are very carefully going to, let's get this close here, pour this, and we are going to submerge our hard boiled eggs in our beautiful blue cabbage juice. So we just want them to be covered, right? Just want them to be completely covered by our beautiful bluish purple cabbage juice. So now that your eggs are all submerged, just throw it in your fridge and it'll be good to go by tomorrow morning. The cool thing about cabbage juice is that it is a pH indicator, meaning it will visually tell you if something is an acid or a base. Let me show you what I mean. So here's our cabbage juice. Look how beautifully bluish violet that is. I mean, it turns like the most beautiful color. But watch what happens when I add lemon juice, which is an acid. It turns reddish pink. Isn't that amazing? Look how beautiful that is. Okay, so that was our acid, but let's see what it looks like when we add a base. So I can add some baking soda, sodium bicarbonate, which is a base. I just added a little bit of baking soda here with water. Toss that in. That one, can you see? That one turns more green, more teal. Compare that to our original. As you can see, this is our pH indicator in action. When you add an acid, it moves more towards reddish pink. When you leave it alone, it's just that bluish violet color. And when you add a base, it moves more towards greenish teal. So we are going to use lemon juice in our experiment today because look how drastic that difference is here. So now we're going to get our eggs out of the cabbage juice and dry them off. Look at this beautiful blue color. Look how pretty those are. These are the most beautiful eggs I've ever seen. You could just do this and it would look nice. You can set aside your cabbage juice for now. If you want, you can play with the cabbage juice and make potions. This is such a fun, taste safe experiment for little ones with baking soda and lemon juice and your cabbage juice. It just looks so beautiful. So now that your egg is nice and dry, we're going to decorate it. So go ahead and take your paintbrush and get your lemon juice. Use your lemon juice as your paint and just draw some lines across your egg and watch what happens. Do you see our beautiful pH indicator egg changing colors to that beautiful pinkish purple color? Look at that. That is so pretty. 
You are decorating your eggs using science. How cool is that? Science can be fun and beautiful. And that is a color changing egg. Thanks for making color changing eggs with me. If you like this one, be sure to check out my best selling Stay Curious and Keep Exploring series for 99 more science experiments. I'm Emily Calandrelli. Subscribe for all things science and space. And remember, Stay curious and keep exploring. I'll see you next time. Emily's Science Lab.